Hi guys, it's Megan Rose from the Philippines coming to you with another set of tutorial. On the next character purse on our series, which is this big one. So for this project, you will need to make the base part in pink or in peach color. The base part is this one. So I will put the link for that tutorial on the description box below. So in order to put the features, you will need to make that first. So today I'm going to show you how to put the features like the ears, the eyes, and the snout part of the pig. And for this project, we will need um, acrylic worsted weight yarn, a number 4 yarn in Pusha Pink. Uh, a hook that is about 4 millimeter, but since my tension is loose, I frequently use this 2.75 mm one. A pair of scissors to cut a string, some scrap uh, black yarn for the nostrils, uh, some yarn needle to sew in the ends and the parts, and some black thread to sew in the eyes. So we are also going to need some black buttons in two pieces. I'm going to use it for the eyes. So to start the project, we're gonna first make the snout part, which is in this uh, oblong shape, crochet piece here. So to start off, pick up our pusha pink yarn. What I usually do is, I wrap my hook around the yarn like this to start it. But you can also slip knot to start this project. And then we're gonna chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And here's where we're gonna double crochet. We're gonna half double crochet. So to do that, yarn over, insert your hook to the second chain from the right. Yarn over, go through one loop, and then pull through all of the three loops. So that is the half double crochet. And then we're gonna do it two more times. So half double crochet here on the next chain, and then half double crochet on the next one. And then for the last chain, we're going to half double crochet five times, all in one chain. So, there's one, two, three, four, and five. And this snout part has three rounds in them. So, this is going to be the first round. And then after this, we're going to half double crochet two more times on the next on the next space, which is here, this strand here. We're gonna half double crochet there, and then half double crochet another one. And on the last space, we're gonna half double crochet three times, so that is on that last strand there. Half double crochet one. Two and three and then we're gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet that we need and then we're gonna start the second round okay, to start on the second round we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna have double crochet four times across so there's one two three and four and then for the next space, we're going to have double crochet two times in one space. So there's one and two. And that first space. For the second space, have double crochet two times. So it will have that increase on the side parts. For the third one, have double crochet two times. For the fourth space, have double crochet two times. And then we're going to half double crochet across three times. So on the next space, half double crochet one. On the next, half double crochet only one. On the third, half double crochet only one. And then we're now left with three spaces. So we're gonna half double crochet two times in one space for the next three stitches. So for the first one, half double crochet two times just in one space. 
for the next one half double crochet two times just in one space and for the last we're gonna half double crochet two times just in that one space and after this we're gonna close by slip stitching to the first half double crochet to finish the second round of the snout part the next thing will be the third round the third and the last round which is all in single crochet so you're gonna chain one and you're just gonna single crochet around so as to finish the snout part of the pig just single crochet all around up until you reach uh, the end of the third round so I'm gonna catch up with you right before we close okay guys so now that we have reached the end part of the third round of uh, snout we're gonna ju we're just gonna single crochet the last space on the last space and then we're just gonna close it by slip stitching to the first single crochet and then we're going to leave a very long end for sewing and then we're going to fasten off and then after this we're gonna pick our scrap black yarn and put the nostrils on the snout part so in order to do that we're gonna pick up our yarn needle put a thread of black yarn there and then cut the string and then we're going to knot it And now we're going to embroider the nostrils. So here is our snout. So we're just going to put two lines there. So insert your needle there. So we have that. We're gonna check if it is okay. And then we're going to put the other nostril on the other side. Just like so. And then if it is okay, we're going to just knot it inside and hide the spangler. So now we're ready to sew in the snout part of the pig on the base okay now we have that we're ready to put it here but before that we're gonna make the ears part first okay hi guys so now we're ready to work on the ear parts of the pig so you need to pick up your base uh, crochet piece here and there are two sides to it the other side has the stitch running along it and there's the smooth part so we're going to work on the smooth part and find the side part where there's the opening and that's where we're gonna, where we're gonna start working on the first ear and it is directly attached to this base part here so find your push up pink yarn insert your hook through this stitch here insert your yarn there and then chain one and then here's where we're going to half double crochet seven times catching the spangler as we go so there's one two three four five six and seven so the ear part has five rows to it so you're gonna chain one turn your work we're gonna have double crochet seven times along those first one so we have one two three four five six and seven 
So after this, the third row, you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and then we're gonna half double crochet two together. So that is, insert your hook here. Uh, yarn over, insert your hook. And then, you're gonna insert your hook to the next one. Yarn over, and then pull through all of the, the loops. Then we're going to have to have a crochet three times. One, two, and three. And then we're going to have double crochet two together on this last part here. So there's one, and then two, and then pull all of the three loop, all of the loops. Okay. For the fourth round, or for the fourth row, chain one. And then we're going to have double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook there. Then insert your hook in another one. And then pull through all of the loops. Half double crochet the next one. And then half double crochet two together. This one and two. Pull through all of four loops. Chain one. And for the last row, we're gonna crochet, half double crochet three together. So yarn over, insert your hook here, insert your hook here, and then insert your hook here. And then pull through all of the five loops. And then we're gonna cut our string, leaving a long end for sewing. And then we're gonna fasten up. So that is going to be the first ear that we're gonna fold and sew here. Okay?